Hey, how's it going? Uh, Deadpool FR50 coming in with you with a new video. Um, I got a, uh, the uh, Falcon Shocks for uh, 2015 and above F150 application. Uh, this one is particularly the, uh, the 4 to 6 inch uh, lift. So eliminating the applica application of uh, front strut spacers for lift kits. So I'm uh, going with uh, the Zone Off-Road 6 inch uh, kit, but looking to play between 4 to 5 inch uh, lift weight with these ones. So uh, let's get started. I don't think um, there's not much uh, unboxing video for these Falcon shocks. They're fairly new setups, so let's get right at it. Shout out to um, Four Wheel Parts of Edmonton for hooking me up with these. Boxes here. So I'm just stuck. And what's here? Stuff. Sacers and mini dogs. The actual kit comes with the front struts, front monotubes, and then the uh, the rear adjustable shocks here. So let's start with the front here. Now it looks nice. So Falcon Shocks label down here, a couple of those. Which I can't remember the uh, these guys here, but as you can tell in the in the video, you have the four uh, four inch, and down it's uh, progressive to uh, a 0.5 of an inch uh, decrease, and then. So you have a four and then a six inch uh, range here. So that is nice. So it's good. I can play with this. Start with a four and then hopefully I can manage to fit the truck in uh, with a six inch. So improve tire clear. Now, now what I'm excited about is the rear adjustable shocks here. So these ones you have the the, the piggyback reservoir and then you have the adjustable knob here. So apparently it's sitting on the three setting, which is the, the maximum tow hole setting. So if you turn it's a little bit hard to oh the other way around, I guess. So currently it was sitting on number one, which is uh comfort. Second would be the medium tow hold, and then the uh, heavy load or extreme tow hold. Uh, easy, it's easy to turn the uh, the the, rub, uh, the knob, and yeah, it's as tight to number three. Yeah, so we 
you go with soft there. That's the setting. Nicely built. I like the uh, the anodized coating here, which is great. And then you have the the, uh, the roost guard uh, screws down here. You can um, attach this covers in it or over it. So covers like this way. That looks awesome. Looks like the uh, the system is nicely built. Yeah, I live in Edmonton and we have harsh uh, winter climates and picking up right around I don't know, six to eight months of winter around here. So hopefully these ones hold up pretty good. Uh, these ones are for the struts. For the base because you're maximizing the use of the top hat and the coil spring from your OEM struts so I'm going to disassemble this and transfer it to this unit we have a couple isolator oh no these are the base ones these are the isolators that goes on top of these blocks here so this one sits right at the bottom where the where it holds up the uh, the coil springs. Yeah, so block of aluminum, which is nice, 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 beautiful finish. So, of course, it comes in a pair. And then the hardware is for the bottom of the shocks, the bump stops, or on top of that, uh, the uh, the front. Shocks here, nothing in this one. And some rear bump stops, I believe. Yeah, so that one, these one folds in, replaces your, your uh, OE bump stops. But I have no use for this because I have an airbag suspension placed in the, in the rear leaf spring. So I'm going to save it, see what happens. And uh, of course, instructions for, for the uh, rear box stops and then screws to replace the, uh, the, uh, the screw from the uh, OEM uh, pump stop and I think that's it just make sure that everything's out here yeah, we have two isolators rubber strong but yeah want to have a take uh, close take a closer look of the front struts Falcon label down there a four and a uh, six inch um, range with 0.5 of an inch each just nicely built anodized metal i think these are uh, two and quarter inch uh, struts here and then you have the falcon logo here with uh, uh with the plastic protector film the adjustable knob nicely built one piece on top of these says number one here I'm not sure which why is that but yeah and these are the uh, Ford F-150 rear sport tow haul for four to six inch uh, lift application uh, three screws down here for the roost guards of course and everything comes in pairs all right well thanks for watching Hopefully, I, uh, this will be the start of me making videos for, for my Deadpool F-150, so please stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, I can get this installed uh, in a matter of a week once uh, everything is in. Alright, see ya. Thanks for watching again, and please subscribe.